hello people how are you today welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about fear yeah we are going to see ways to defeat fear we are going to understand what we fear and to discuss on how to move on and defeat fear mm, so that we have known what we are going to talk about i want to take a recap of last time what we did last time if you have watched my video i was talking about understanding you are worthy or knowing you are worthy mm. after knowing you are worthy we said we'll move on to the next step and the next step is moving on your feet eh. so now you have known you are worthy you have understood you are worthy you have known you can do it but there's something that is making you not do it there's something that is standing on your way there's something that is in your heart and it is pressing you down and i want you to understand that is fear mm. Fear is making us not move ahead. Fear is making us not do the good things that we're supposed to do. Fear is making us stay stagnant in life. And there is a way God wants to talk to us. There is a way that God wants us to move in a very, very good way that will make us progress and move on with our life in a good way. And that is defeating our fear. God wants us to defeat our fear so that we can move to our next direction. We can move in a good way. We can be productive. We can be successful. And we will do that when we defeat our fear, when we break the chains of our fear in our hearts. Yeah, I am Helen Tururi. And I will ask you, please, maybe you like this video please share it share it to your friends share it to your colleagues and let them also learn as we learn together so please let's subscribe and continue first the first thing that we need to do while in this process of breaking the chain of fear is to understand what we fear you need to know what to fear what do you fear you fear driving yeah it's just normal everyone who goes to driving classes at one time was like ha, can i no so you fear driving yeah what do you fear maybe you fear getting married maybe you fear getting a kid maybe you fear applying that job maybe you fear going for your masters or your degrees maybe you fear going overseas maybe you fear starting that business maybe you fear going for that loan to acquire that facility so there is a lot of things that, that people fear and there is reasons that why we fear doing those things but today we want to break this chain we are going to do it people we are going to stop fearing and we are going to move on to the right direction so you first thing you have said you need to understand or to know what you fear Yes, the best part of this is to know what you fear. You know you fear, for example, <clears throat> you know you fear dark. When steamers keep out here like, whoa, 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 I'm dead in this house. You <laughs> so you fear darkness. What you do when you know you fear darkness? You light the house. That's simple. Yeah. So now you know you fear getting married. What do you do? after knowing that I fear getting married myself. You need to understand why you fear getting married. Yeah, you need to go back to your mind, go back to your childhood, go back to your youthful life, go back and understand understand why you fear. Maybe you fear taking a loan from the bank because your colleague took it and it did not do well. And maybe yourself, you took it some previous days and it did not go well. Maybe you fear getting married because you saw your parents were fighting when you were kids. Or maybe they separated. Maybe you've seen your friends fighting and divorcing maybe you've had stories and you've seen people separating and other killing each other while they are in marriage and you fear going for that marriage because of that now that you have understood why you fear what do you need to do you need to think positive you need to have a positive option of these things that you fear you have been having a negative option on the other side because you've been thinking, I cannot do it. This happened and this happened. This took place. This, this, this. You see a lot of these were in the negative side, were the bad side. 
but now you understand why you fear it you need to see it from a positive way yes see it from a positive way think like when i get this loan maybe i'll do business maybe i'll get successful it will open opportunities for me when i get married yeah i'll create a family yeah i'll i'll create a different environment from the environment that my parents created for me you see now you see it from a different direction you seeing a positive thing in it and when you see these positive things i tell you you won't stop there you will start having the courage to go on oh hallelujah so now you are having the courage to move on you are having the courage to get married you are having a, the courage to acquire that facility you are having a courage to go for your masters you are having the courage to move on to the next step what do you do now you have got the courage to move on you take the opportunity and use it mm. <laughs> you've seen it the right way now take the opportunity and use the opportunity yeah you 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 are doing this thing because you want to move on you don't want to be stagnant and you've gotten this opportunity hey what are you doing take the opportunity use it and move on maybe it's because you you didn't want to go to your masters or whatever because of this and this and this <clears throat> and now you have seen the sense that you need to go you've seen the positive part of it <coughs> go apply yeah apply for the papers get the questionnaires answer them check them back and you will get you will you will get you'll, maybe you'll be shortlisted or you will receive the letter that you've been called to go and now yeah you're taking that opportunity and you are using that opportunity maybe you wanted to start a business and you you had this negative everything about it and now you have seen the sense that you want to move on you've seen the positive side of it you've gotten the courage to go for it take that that money you have go start doing that start selling that that dresses start start doing what you want to do go for that loan and uh, acquire it and start doing your business that's what i mean getting the courage and using the opportunity use that opportunity yeah you you are fearing to get married now that you've seen the sense that you need to get married yeah find that man mwenye unapenda ngama mwenye unaona una unavutia una anakuvutia approach approach that lady talk to her and maybe she will be willing she will love you back and life will start from there that is how you do it you take the opportunity and you use the opportunity and after you seeing the opportunity what you do you become consistent can be consistent please don't stop don't stop now that you applied for that degree and you you are called you are you want to go to classes don't say that ah i'll do it next year no start immediately do go by next year and the other year will be graduating so you see you will have re, you will have you will have done you will have got your results from what you are fearing to do remember we are talking about breaking the chains of fear mm. so that be consistent do your business go today go tomorrow after some weeks after some months i tell you you see the results you will you will reap from what you have done because now you have broke that chain you have stopped the fear from you you have the courage to go on be consistent continue doing it continue doing it each and every day make sure you go make sure you show up make sure you make yourself known even if you don't get a customer for the first time the second day or the the first i know it gets so hard especially in a business when you start a business it gets so hard for the first timers but the moment you be consistent you get your customers and you do yourself well and you get results and you expand now that you have been consistent what do you do next you have been consistent i am i'm going so fast maybe you don't understand you've been so consistent what you do next it expand your network and keep your network yeah you don't sell for someone today and tomorrow when this person comes back will not get the stuff no expand your network 
and keep your network well maybe you've seen that my customers from this come from this area and i i, I sell it here so let me make someone also have someone who will be helping selling the other area so that i expand this market yeah that's what you do maybe you are you are doing a, a mitumba business and you've seen that when i bring trousers they go so fast but these people who come for my trousers do not stay here do not come for them here they come from somewhere else so you 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 find someone who can help you selling to the other side of the market yeah so you expound your network and you keep your network well while keeping your network also find quality time for your work sit down and reflect what you do find it loving that i love what i do i've been consistent i've found i'm keeping my network well and find now quality for your customers yeah find quality things to sell find the quality time for that relationship and keep it warm that is the moment you continue doing this and this and now you get opportunities you grow you well you start growing each and every day your opportunities grow so fast and so well and you find loving it and it becomes so good and after some years after some months or some years you will realize oh I don't fear doing it anymore. I'm doing it so right. I'm doing it so well. I'm doing it so good. And God will give you an opportunity to grow. And while doing this, don't forget it is God who is doing it for you. So make sure every time you wake up, you go to bed, you say thanks to God, you give him his glory. And tomorrow when you wake up, tomorrow you wake or you wake up a fresh being, you wake up a fresh person to do what you love to do. And that is for today, people. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God help you. And let us subscribe, please. If you've liked this video, please like it there so that i understand that this is what you love and you like please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn that notification bell on bye bye i love you people